you have a superpower friend, a superpower that literally will change your entire life. You want to know how to do things quicker. You want to know how to feel good every day. You want to know how to be healthy. Welcome back to One's Journey of Unwinding the Mind and of course, your daily microdose. Now tune in to the latest episode of One's Journey. Today, I want to talk about unleashing that inner superpower within that we all contain, but we have all forgotten. What is that inner superpower? First, I want to talk about what does it look like to be activating that inner superpower. Patrick and I were having a conversation and I have a dear friend who I believe is pretty much consistently activating this superpower. She is happy, healthy, married, many children, And she is the person that you have a conversation with and she fully sees you for who you are. She just resonates love, but she has endless amounts of energy. This woman is involved in every volunteer activity. She's taking her kids everywhere. She's just doing a miraculous amount of things that literally when she tells you what she does in a day, you're like, there's, there was literally not enough hours in the day to do that. How did you do that? And I had this aha moment because I realized that she was activating that superpower. And what that superpower is, is being in spirit, fully coming from the Holy Spirit's belief system. And when you are fully in spirit, that is when miracles happen. And that is when you have endless amounts of energy and you bend time and you're just filled with so much love and joy and peace. But it's not this dopamine hit joy and love and peace. It's instead this even keel just way of being. And what I believe that is, is when you are coming from the Holy Spirit's belief system, you are stepping back and realizing, maybe not consciously, but subconsciously, that you are the dreamer, that none of this is real, and that you are safe in spirit. That's where that endless love and energy and time bending comes, because the Holy Spirit sees this illusion for the illusion it does, meaning that time doesn't exist energy, like your body doesn't exist. You are not your body when you are coming from the Holy Spirit belief system. So that's how you have boundless amounts of energy and you smile more. And you also understand whether it's consciously or subconsciously, because I'll be honest, we're on this intentional journey of unpeeling the layers. And there may be many people in this lifetime that in other lifetimes, they've done a lot of this intentional work and they're showing up here more in spirit without actually intentionally doing the work to get there. If you've ever heard like, oh, that person was born enlightened. I don't believe that people are born enlightened here because you wouldn't have came back here. You wouldn't have came back here if you were truly enlightened. There was obviously some lessons left to learn, but maybe they're not large lessons. So you've really uncovered a lot of truth and a lot of those onion layers that have been holding you back from remembrance. Have you ever had a time, and again, I'm just going to call you out if you say no, I don't believe that's true, where all of a sudden you're driving along, you're in the shower, or you're listening to music and you have this aha moment, this thought where you're like, oh my gosh, I feel inspired. Well, inspired is in spirit. And how does that moment feel? I want you to just take a moment. I want you to think, close your eyes. My eyes are closed. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think back to the last time you experienced an inspired moment where you felt inspired to do, inspired to be, inspired to say, whatever it is. And let's just sit there, sit in the feeling that it felt for a moment. How did it feel? But did you feel joyous or happy? Just sit in that feeling. Okay. So I just wanted us to briefly reconnect with that. And think for a moment. That person I was telling you about at the beginning, do I, do I think she's in that 100% of the time? I don't know. 
But could you imagine sitting in that feeling for even 50% of your time here? Isn't that feeling amazing? It's this feeling of just complete expansion. And for me, it's feelings that words cannot fully describe here because, of course, it is outside of the illusion. Inspired thoughts come from being in spirit. Bottom line, you were in spirit in that moment. I don't know what you were doing. A lot of times uh, for me, inspired thoughts tend to come when I'm driving or in the shower. Of course, when I'm doing like meditation and those things, but I'm using the other times of my life that I'm not super intentional. Um, And I think it's because my monkey mind is being distracted with an activity that is just enough to distract it. Oftentimes, though, being in spirit can be confused with, say, the flow state. I've done a ton of research on flow state, and before I really got into this journey of untying myself from the ego and coming from the Holy Spirit belief system, flow state was like where I wanted to be. But the difference between flow state and living in spirit, your innate superpower, is flow state is something that is not withstandable. It is not sustainable. It's not something that literally you can live in flow state for the rest of your life, or at least the research I have read. It takes optimal conditions. It takes like a conscious acknowledgement of entering into flow state. Sometimes you accidentally enter into flow state as well, but again, it's an ego illusion piece because it's a utilization essentially of the brain and how the brain operates and blah, blah, blah. But being in spirit is at the place of the mind. And again, the brain is a part of the illusion. It was, it's a decoding system. So when you are in spirit, you are literally like taking yourself out outside of the dream and just operating at this level that literally words cannot describe. You can create things like easily and effortlessly. Recently, so I'll be honest, Big Miracle Energy was born on February 25th. On February 25th of 2023, I was to be hosting a workshop with a local networking group. And I was like, what should I call this workshop? And I had a friend and she was playing like uh, some other words that were really sexy. And I was like, that just doesn't align with me. And, And she had like big sexy energy. And I was in the shower. Actually, I was in the shower and I was like, big miracle energy. And then later that night, we had dinner with friends and they were like, that's be me, right? Duh, like the letters equal be me. So that's when it was born. And in that moment, Patrick and I had a discussion about what our vision of this would be. I hadn't had a website up that was running and and doing good in over a year. I had a beautiful one and shut it completely down because it didn't align. Hadn't had a website. Patrick had talking about, let's do a Patreon. I didn't have a graphic design. I didn't have logos. I had nothing, no colors, nothing. So we made this vision and we had this event to go to. And that was going to be around the beginning of May, beginning of May. So by then I wanted to be fully up and running. I wanted to have landing pages running. I wanted to have an ebook out, like all these things. So in under 90 days, we went from Oh, wow. Be me to I created a badass website. If you hadn't haven't checked it out, it's bigmiracleenergy.com. I did that all on my own, had no clue what I was doing. Yes, there were times that there was resistance, but it still flowed. It, it, it was this just ease and like it was meant to be fully. I created the logo. We recorded over 40 Patreon videos. We created a Patreon. I created an ebook and I created a blog and just all these things that usually, and I also, mind you, in the meantime, didn't lock myself up in my apartment. Patrick and I continued to go to the beach every Sunday. I continued to go to my networking events. I continued to have coffee with friends. We continued to, at night, have our time to refuel our souls. Like, we, I don't even know how many hours a week we are working, but I would say 30 to 40. I still had one-on-one clients, but because it was an inspired thought and it, we came from spirit, came from our purpose, from the Holy Spirit, 
it just unfolded beautifully. So when you are fully coming from the being in spirit, even in creation of things, it flows and it happens quickly and it, it's beautiful and it feels good and, and so many amazing things. Uh, you have unlimited energy. That's another thing that I really notice when I'm doing things that are fully from spirit instead of from the ego belief system. I just feel energized and like I can keep going for hours. One example, we were doing blogs the other night and I don't think we got to bed till midnight. We usually go to bed only at 11, but I could have kept going. I could have stayed going all night because, and not because I was in flow state, but instead because I was inspired. I was in spirit. I was coming from a place of the Holy Spirit. You want to know how to do things quicker. You want to know how to feel good every day. You want to know how to be healthy, look healthy. That's another piece I want to share. I have noticed for myself as well, my transformation over the last 20 years, and most of it has occurred in the last couple of years because what I've noticed is people who begin to enter spirit and begin to practice forgiveness at the level of the mind, and they begin to see this illusion for what it is, which is untruth, and a realization that they are not their body, it's that detachment that no longer allows the projection. It's almost like they age backwards because they're unpeeling the layers of pain and suffering that I believe causes this projection of this body aging and looking worse as we get older and X, Y, and Z. And I think that goes the same for weight and all of the above that. The true answer at the end of the day is to live in spirit. I believe when you live in spirit, your body goes back to its default state wherever it's meant to be. But what happens is that default state changes as we put layers of shame and guilt and anger and pain. But as we unpeel the layers, it's like I, I said to a friend the other day, we we're talking about aging because a teacher of ours is retiring. And I'm like, mm, I'm going to live life as Benjamin Button. And I feel I feel that way. I feel that I appear that way, or not I, my body appears that way to everyone else, but I feel lighter than I have ever felt, and not by weight, but by weight. Essentially, your inner superpower that literally can do anything because it changes its perception. We're not talking about molding the illusion, we're talking about changes its perception. So building big miracle energy and the website and all that, the immense fear wasn't there, the anger, the shame, the guilt, because I was coming from the Holy Spirit's belief system. My perception was different. Not necessarily the act of building the website or anything was different, but my perception was different. So it felt different. It went different because if my perception is different than my actions, if I get frustrated and chuck my computer off across, which Ashley probably seven years ago would have done that. I'm just owning that chuck my computer across the, the living room floor and the screen shatters, then what kind of story would I have had building be me? But because my perception was different, when I hit what I would call some resistance, it didn't feel like the end of the effing world. It just felt like, okay, let's move around. So again, you have a superpower, friend, a superpower that literally will change your entire life. And that is the Holy Spirit's belief system within. That is your highest self. That is the holy freaking grail. That is the way home. But not only is it the way home, I know we focus a lot on that. It is the way to ride through this illusion with this peace and happiness and not experiencing the duality of it. Not experiencing the duality, not 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 experiencing the duality, like you actually, duality still occurs, but your perception of that experience of duality is no longer a dualistic response. It's very even kill, peace and happiness. You see it for the illusion it is. And because you are coming from your superpower, which is the Holy Spirit belief system. Again, I truly believe living in spirit can solve all of your problems. 
at the level of the mind. I'm not talking about manipulating this illusion. I'm talking about changing your perception. And when your perception is changed, what's outside of you doesn't phase you. I am so grateful for you. Continue to work on living in your superpower. The world needs you. The illusion needs you. Remember, most of all, you are worth it. Take care.